Hi guys, so dinner tonight is creamy chipotle vegetable pasta. Um, that's what I'm calling it. Long time ago, me and my husband had this dish in the Cheesecake Factory. Um, I believe they put asparagus in theirs, but basically, I guess, you know, you recreate it with any vegetable you want. So right now I'm sauteing some onions, peppers, corn, in some ghee. I have ghee. And this is the corn I got from the CSA. So the last CSA haul, I just cut, you know, some of it wasn't that good. Um, and I just cut the kernels off and I threw them in. So that's my mess over there. And I'm going to add some mushrooms in um, to add the mushrooms. But it could be any vegetables you like. Um, I believe they did use asparagus, uh, red peppers. But this is what I had. I had some peppers that were frozen corn from the, the cob and onions. I'm gonna add mushrooms. And then um, this is the recipe that I follow, but I don't follow it exactly. Um, I know it says for like half and half and milk, but I have cream, so I'm gonna probably use just the cream. But um, this one they use angel hair. Uh, I think I'm gonna use angel hair today. But uh, I had pulled this out of some magazine or some little small magazine that you find uh, when you're checking out of the supermarket. And I probably had this for about 16, 17 years I've had this recipe. And I don't make it that often. But now that the boys are older and their um, palates expanded, they might actually like it this time. So letting this get all cooked, I'm gonna add the mushrooms and then I have to get the water boiling for the pasta. So I added the mushrooms, looks good. And then I have my water boiling for the pasta. And then this is leftover chicken from that Instapot whole chicken that I did the other day. And um, so I used some of that for one dish and this is the leftover. So I just have it in small pieces and I'm gonna add it to the vegetables to warm up and then eventually it'll all get tossed with the pasta and the cream sauce. So now I'm gonna add the flour, mm. and I use einkorn flour, because einkorn flour has less gluten and more protein, because it's an ancient grain. So you mix it throughout the chicken vegetable mixture, and when you add your liquid, it'll thicken the milk. So a nice sauce, like a white sauce. And then I use this milk. I got it from, I believe, Whole Foods. Um, the grass-fed milk, which is the one I'm trying to buy all the time now. Um, yeah, I don't measure, and I'm so sorry. I will post a recipe below the link to the original recipe that I attempt to follow. Um, Everything looks so beige though. I should have used more vibrant colored vegetables. A nice red bell pepper would have really stood out. Or even my green bell peppers, they're not that green. A dark green would have been nice. And I did make it with asparagus. Um, I had made it with asparagus before, but it's pretty much whatever vegetable you want. Oops, sorry about that. And then I'm gonna add the cream. And the cream gives it a nice Creamy texture, obviously, but also sweetness. I love heavy cream. Use it in so many different things. Let that simmer. And then we're going to add chipotles. These chipotles I had in the freezer for God knows how long. I don't even remember what I was using them for. But I obviously didn't use the whole can. So I'm going to start off with one because they're, they're kind of big. And make sure you get some of the adobo sauce too. You're supposed to chop it up before you put it in, but I'm going to chop it up in the pan with the wooden spoon. No one wants to bite into a big chunk of chipotle because it'll be hot. It packs a punch. And it'll turn the sauce pinkish. Really, really good. I'm going to serve this with salad. I think I'm going to add another chipotle. Yeah, so I'm going to add one more chipotle. Isn't that such a funny word, chipotle? 
doing this one-handed. She bought that. In you go. Oh, and let's get all the adobo sauce off the spoon. Two should be enough. The boys don't like too spicy. We're a mild heat type of family, but them, even milder. I just don't want to be sweating when I'm eating this, you know? So I think two's enough. They melt in pretty well, too. And then I'm going to try it Food Channel style and add the pasta directly in like this. And that didn't work out. But you add Parmesan cheese to it, mix it in, and there you go. It is such a delicious dish. I hope you enjoy this if you try it. Uh, bon appetit.